closing remarks. Thought about that too. And I thought, we talked a lot today about Magdalena and Frank Delomo. And we didn't have the opportunity to hear from Frank Delomo. And I want you to hear from him now. Because as he wrote those columns each year, I think it was at Christmas time, about Frankie and his progress, I think he was be beginning, to, beginning to sense change. Uh, and he was part of that change. Magdalena and Frank were part of creating that storm of change, those new positive winds that are blowing. So I want to read an excerpt that Frank wrote about Frankie. In Frank's words, this year I finally allowed myself to start dreaming about my son's future again. Although Frankie continues to struggle against the effects of autism, a mysterious neurological disorder, his improvement has been so steady that at times he seems a completely typical nine-year-old, right down to braces for his teeth and a growing interest in video games and the latest cartoon series his favorite is SpongeBob SquarePants. I sometimes find myself musing about Frankie's future, but not with the concern and fear I often felt when he was first diagnosed six years ago. Now I can envision him achieving things once thought impossible for all but the most exceptional autistic children. And ladies and gentlemen, that's why we're here today. Somewhere over the rainbow, way up high.
happy little bluebirds fly beyond the rainbow. Well, Thank you very much.